So, um, you want to go Dutch on this, or you mean just fuck you for it? I'll pick up the check, don't worry about it. Dutch. I want to apologize for taking up a lot of, a lot of your life. Screwing you around. Talk is real cheap. It is. If talk yeah. is cheap, how much your words worth? I don't know if words are worth any... You know, as a matter of fact, I'm glad you asked. Because I don't really think they're worth anything. The only thing that is worth anything is what you do. That's what's worth something. So you can talk all you want. You can be romantic all you want. You can regret all you want. You can come here and say, I'm sorry. And you know what? It's okay. It never fucking change. Why are you so bitter? Why? Who said I was bitter? What are you going to do now? Rehash? Again? Review? So now, if by chance you found out that you're going to die or something, and you're coming by to tell everybody to get everything cleaned up... You got you know, that wrong. Well, I don't know what's That's going on. That's not why I'm here. Well, then, That's not why I'm here. Well, then why are you here? I'm here to see you to apologize for not doing the right thing. Hey, great. Okay. Thanks a lot. Everything's okay now. You know, I don't get it. It is I don't for me. get it. What makes you think that you can come 15 years later and just drop by and say, I'm sorry, and then everything's okay? I'm leaving here in 10 seconds. If you don't get out of the way. Oh, knock me out, okay? Ah. Go ahead. You still like that, huh? Knock me out. You still like that? I've always loved it. Of course. Knock me out, Joey. Go ahead. Blames Dubois. So, finally, the real Joey's shown up. Maybe we should start over. The real Joey's here now. Now that he's leaving, he just showed up. Great. Have a great life, okay? Versailles, Joey? Oh, Joey, don't go. Please don't go. Stay. Come on. Don't you want to stay and talk to me and tell me how sorry you are? Come on, Joey. What a guy. What a great guy you are. The best fuck I ever had, of course. Hi. I need you to dig deeper into your psyche, into your emotions, into what was going on, what you think was going on, what really, etc. See, it has to be from a first person, right? I. And I'm interested in Joey's experiences in his head, in his heart, in his amorality, in his morality, the humanity to do the shit that you've done. And then what happened to you that it demanded to be heard? I mentioned your, your very personal experience and revelation. People can open this fucking book up and read about themselves. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fucking do this. And these fucking guys came there, kidnapped me, killed the two people that were taking care of me, and they bring me to Venezuela. How many guys? Four. Right they tie you up with it. They did every fucking day. They tied me up, they blindfolded me. There was two Mexicans, they were brothers. A Venezuelan kid named Albi, I remember that. And a black guy, a Jamaican. What's that? What was he saying? What were you saying that? You want to kill that guy. You want to kill him? I don't want to kill him. Yo, we tell you right now. Done. Claro, agarremos los mil dólares y nos vamos. No. 25 mil para cada uno. No, no, listen, listen, listen. What, when I have to talk to me, you know? Yeah, stand right here. You're not talking. Not, you're nothing. Listen. What 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 did William say? What did I say to that? Uh, he wanna know what I just say. What I'm saying? Yeah.
I'm saying that men I think this is a good idea. I'm no, no, no. Kill, you can't kill that boy. If we kill him, kill, if, you, if we kill him, no money. Your friends uh, don't want to pay the million dollars. They only want to pay 100,000. Those guys are to stop and they want the million dollars right now. Okay, so I don't know what you're gonna do. They wanna kill you. I said to not kill you, but I don't know. Okay, he said. Okay, let me tell you something. Right now, the life, you know, the pool, right? You understand, Mister Taylor? You understand? But these your people, they don't want them to pay a bill. They don't want to pay. That's what I'm saying. Some of them not pay. You see out there? You see that? That's where you're gonna be. You think I'm putting them up here. Hold up, we're putting them up here and then drop you out. You know what we do it before, you know what we do it. Okay. We don't care. We're not gonna do that as soon as I do. You hear me? So what you all gonna do? Who can you call somebody or something? Because you're gonna tell you right now. We are busy. People wanna kill you right now. Yeah, they wanted a million fucking dollars for me. I said, wait a minute. Who the fuck am I that you want a million dollars for me? I don't even know the connection it would be bad. But some of them must have heard that it was some fucking down on the land, and they figured they're gonna get a million dollars from me. Yeah, that's weird. I didn't get a million dollars. These guys gonna fucking kill me in Spanish. Cut off his fucking hand. Limani, limani, limani. So they can cut off your hand? Yeah, that's the way. In a hundred thousand dollars, I can. No pun intended, get my hands on. Okay? Yeah. No, they want a million fucking dollars. What country are you in now? I forgot. Now I'm in... In Mexico. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you don't know what I'm too. That Joe is dead. I guarantee it. I know it for a fact. So, uh... Why me? Why not you? You know, you know the players. Well, you could get that money for Joey. I don't deal in goods, I deal in services. I don't deal in anything anymore. I'm going on a trip, I got my, my retirement to consider. So, uh, find somebody else. Without Joey, you wouldn't have anything to retire from. Nothing, and you know it. I'm doing business now, conducting for my life. I can get $100,000, make arrangements for my guru to pay me. He convinces these fucking madmen to take the $100,000 and let me go. And that's how the deal went down. Well, you didn't have 100 grand, I did No! But he brought it down, Pedro brought it down. So you got off? I got off. He bring me to fucking Mexico, I'm there. The next thing I know, I'm in New Orleans, ultimately I make my way back here. To where it's here? Here. L.A.? Now, man. I'm not gonna do it. All my money is gone. Just gotta have that operation now. Can I help you? Tune in. Can I help you? Can 
Open the door. Tell me your name. Can I help you with something? What's your name? Can I help you? Tell me your name. Can I help you with something? What's your name? I'm Joey G. You don't know? Is that your mother? I'm your father. I'm your father. Come on. I haven't got a lot of time. Open the door. Wait, just take it easy. Take it easy. You gotta understand. You gotta understand that it's like you know. I, I, I've never seen you before in my life. I've never seen you. Last time I was out, it was 10 years ago. Okay? Right? Eight years ago, I found out about you. She gave me your number. I told her not to tell you that I was coming. Come over here. Come over here. I'm your father. What? This is a little, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little too, it's a little too much, man, it's a little too much. Just, just, just slow down, just tell, you know, sit down, if you grab me, you know, I don't... Were you one of those jujitsu guys? No, nah, not jujitsu. What do you do? It's, uh, it's, uh, goju. Oh. Karate, yeah. Oh, tough guy, huh? Nah, not really a tough guy, but what I just... What are you then? I'm just, uh, I'm just... You're not a tough guy, what are you? I'm just, I'm a, I'm a lover, I'm a, I'm oh, a, yeah? I'm a comedian. Yeah. Yeah. How old are you now? 26 years old? You're 26, right? Yeah, I'm 26. What do you do out here? I do, I'm, I do a lot of different stuff. Like what? But wait, just let's get back to the father business. I mean, you, you got to understand it's a little, I mean, I don't mean to, to disrespect you or whatever. It just is, can you imagine being in my position? You know, I'm, I'm, you come into my, my crib and, you, you know, tell me. What about it? What about it? It's a, it's a, yeah, what about it? What about it? You can't it? change anything. It's done. Okay, yeah, exactly. So done. what about it? What about it? It's done. I'm just telling you that you got a real father. I am your biological father, okay? And I wanted to come and see you because I've never seen you before. Does that make any fucking sense to you? I haven't seen... I've been, Do I sound not, like I'm angry? Yeah, you sound like you're angry. No. You say you're my... You're my I mean, you know, you're my... You're, I don't know what the fuck you said, but I'm, 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 I'm a little... Uh... Whatever I said, I said. If you heard it, fine. If you didn't hear it, too bad. Are you going to give me a drink? I knew your mother for a good ten years. I left her. I left her, never knowing that she was pregnant with you. I'll tell you something. I let her down. For a number of reasons. We lived in different times then. Different social climate. My mother and I were in love. But I was married to another woman. I had children. And where I come from, you can't leave. I mean, how come you're just coming up now? Why are you just, why are you just, uh... That's where my life has taken me. It's taken me here. You understand I'm angry about that, man? What? You understand I, I don't feel good about that? I don't know. I don't know too much now. You ever hear your mother sing? Yeah. yeah. How long have you been living here? Like a year. Not, like a year. And before that? Before that, I was in, um... Can't remember? We had drugs? No, nah, this, this feel... Uh, uh, no, nah, you no. Do nah, drugs? Nah. Sometimes I do drugs. Yeah, yeah why? What are you doing right now? Are you drinking a little something? That's a drink. I'm drinking a glass of wine. What are you doing now? 
Why do I feel like you're interrogating me? Really? Yeah. Maybe I am. Well, why? What did that I mean? What you got a want? girlfriend? You want to? I hope you got a girlfriend. I do. I, I have a, yeah, a couple of lady friends that I that I uh, that I see. A couple. And, yeah. Let, yeah. Let me ask you now. All right. I I was I was told that you were that you were involved in the uh, like you know. In the arts. N not the well the art the arts of. I'm involved uh, in the arts. You're involved in the arts. Yeah. Okay, so keep it at that or. What do you think? What are you talking about? I was talking about you know like. Uh, Don't say nothing. Now you're gonna be sorry for. See now maybe I should like say carefully. <laughs> Choose your words carefully. Yeah, I don't want to be disrespectful at all. Have you? I've always imagined it, like, um, have you ever killed anybody? Have you? I don't know. Have you? That's enough. Okay. That's good enough. Do you need anything? Um. What do you need? I'm trying to think of, um. Okay. Now listen closely. Your mother has an address. And a phone number. Anytime you need anything, anytime you're in trouble, I'm talking about trouble, you're the caller, okay? And she'll reach me. It's like, cheers. Fuck. Would you like some more wine? I wish I could stay here. I know it's with you. It's, are you serious? I like you. I do. <laughs> Would you like a little... Uh, no, I got it. That's enough. I'm going to be here another two days. Maybe three. You want to go out? We'll have something to eat, something to drink. We can talk. Yeah, Italian restaurant? So you like to go to a good Italian restaurant? Again? You, you ever been to the, the fuck is wrong with you? You ever been to the Olive Garden? That's Olive Garden? Yeah, because it's, you know, they really... Uh, and you like good fucking hey. food. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Olive Garden. So teach me some more uh, um, Italian words. Uh. Italian? Yeah. No, Italian? So, no, teach me some more Italian. Do you have relatives that come from Italy? Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I, isn't that how you say it? Italian? No, that's not Listen it. Listen to me, you fuck. Okay. You're not Italian, you're no. Sicilian. It's Joey G. I'm here. I'm coming to see you. Let's go inside. So it's just a rumor. You think it's the truth? No, I'm you asking think I'm you. Ah, uh, listen. I don't know truth. It's two to fuck knows. I'm asking because I don't want to spend a lot of time the thinking truth, about it. The I don't truth want to is think out about there it. in the fucking rain. I don't want to think about it. The Tell truth me is out there on. in the rain. Do you understand that? The lies are in the fucking sunlight. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. You're getting old. Old Stalingia. Oh. You think I would fucking do something like that? I would write something to disgrace myself? To well, rat everybody well, out? How did it start? Well, how did it show? That's why I'm here. Okay. Keep it off. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in the loop. Well, who do I you listen, see? Who do I you just talk came, to? Let me tell you something. I'm tired. Maybe that's what it is. I just came back from New York, going back fucking east, dealing with those people again. And there's a whole new breed out there that I find very difficult to even fuck with. Pietro, you got old, but I don't think you're that stupid. I'm asking you for help, my friend. This is Joey G. Joey G. This is not a fucking stenami. This is me talking to you. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Look what I got. 
You know, I want a little action I like. So I go back for a little bit of action. And each time I go back, I ask myself, why? Why do I do it? I got a life, Joe. I got a life that I can't believe I got. You got a life? I got a life I can't believe I ever, got, I'd ever have. I'm ahead of the game. Interlo. You said, look what you got? Mm -hmm. Look what you got? Yeah. How did you get it, Ethel? Did that help you? Just, just not. Did that help you? You know, it, you know, you might have, you might have started this rumor without even knowing it. You know. Ethel, don't fuck with these people. You are my friend. Anybody that comes between the two of us in terms of spreading rumors and stories, I want you to help me. And I don't want you to be selfish. I don't know, Joe. I don't know. Just, just give me time, Joe. I, I don't know. I tell you the truth. All right. I did that. I don't like, I'm not the same guy. So it doesn't make sense for me. I don't think they're going to believe me. I don't think they're going to open up to me. I don't think they're going to tell me the minute they fucking see me and know when I start inquiring. All right. It's a lot of work, Joe. Okay. All right. Don't do anything. I oh. just want you to know. I, I, I'm here to tell you. I asked you. Whatever your opposition may be to it. I'll really give you an answer tomorrow. The trouble with us is that we get. It's fucking cold. There's no cold anymore, Joe. Uh, it ain't like you're dealing with people that you can trust. You're right. Anyway. All the old guys are gone, and with them died the trust. Yeah. Okay. Do what you have to do. Is it done? What? Is it done? Oh, it's done. Hey, you rest in peace. It's not going to be a book. It's not going to be a story. It's going to be a series of revelations. This is about political dynasties, about murder, about assassination of political heads, heads of state being killed, being marked for killings, all rigging, deals with the CIA, fucking adventures and things in Afghanistan, the Middle East, Everything, anything you can name, I know about. Why am I so privy to these fucking things? Because I was trusted. I was trusted. And I'm old. And when you're old, you know a lot. You learn a lot more than the young people. And the young people today know nothing. <laughs> I feel ambivalent about everything. There's a polarity going on inside of me. <sighs> on one hand, I really, uh, I feel a connection with you, man to man, generation. We're both from New York. Uh, and particularly, how can I tell you? See, there are personal things going on with me I have a daughter in D.C. She has two kids. One boy is really damaged. Wonderful, bright kid. He 
It goes to a special school that costs 40 grand a year. But of great concern, she's gone through a, a medical thing that uh, I don't want to get into. You have your thing with your wife, which I really respect. But you see, I have these personal things pulling on me. And then we come to the business. I'm going to do this. I'm going to write this book. Well, you know what happened? See, years ago, the old guys, they didn't have the gumaris, no broads on the side. They did what they had to do, and they went home. They had the underlings, the consiglieri, the lieutenants, the capo regime, whatever. They took care of business. They avoided publicity, they shunned it. And as time went on, with the advent of the Valachi hearings in 1963, more and more guys began to turn. There was no honor left. These fucking guys became dope fiends, coke fiends. These guys never knew drugs. They never fucked with drugs. The old time was that little wine. Wine with their pasta and home by 11 o'clock. They're in fucking bed taking care of the olive oil business the next morning. But these fucking guys, these gazookas, they wanted the limelight. They wanted the fucking pictures and the cover of Time magazine. And the FBI went after them with fucking vim and vigor. Now that's okay, they got the fucking job to do, I understand that. But let me tell you one thing, as fucked up as the mob is right now, it's not because of the FBI. The FBI, if it's fucking known, had they spent as much fucking time tracking down Al-Qaeda and them fucking Taliban motherfuckers with the towels on their fucking heads, there would have never been 9-11 in New York City. Do you understand what I'm talking, talking to you about? John Gotti's fucking dead, so what?